My whakapapa Māori comes from my mum's dad, my papa. He passed away when I was only nine, so I don't really know a lot about his story. So today I'm heading home to Whakatū, Nelson, as it marks the beginning of my journey to learn about my whakapapa, reclaim my reo, and make my papa proud. Hello. Hello, mum. Hi. This is my mum. Say hi, mum. Kia ora. We're here with Nana. Nana, can you just like wave it at this camera? Just say hi. That one there? Yeah, this one. Right. Give me a little wave. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Mum, we didn't grow up speaking Te Māori, so my first question is, what, why didn't you grow up speaking Te Reo? My father married a Pākehā. Mm. What was it like, as a, as a Pākehā wahine, to date a Māori man in the 1950s? It was OK. Yeah. I mean, we might have got some looks. What did you like about Papa? when you first met him? Oh, you'll laugh. Because it was his gorgeous eyes. Oh. He had lovely curly eyelashes. <laughs> it's nice. And he was fun. Yes, yeah. good fun. And did he speak Māori? Fluently. Yeah. It was his first language yeah. until he went to school. When he went to school, he wasn't allowed to speak it. Yeah. He's getting emotional already. That's OK. <laughs> There was nothing in the school. They were beaten um, back in, in that yeah. era. They were, they were um, treated terribly at school, I believe. Yeah. Nobody was talking Māori in those days. Yeah. The old people did mm. when they got together, but they didn't when they were park out people around. Yeah. We asked Dad if he could teach us a few words, but it was so it's a foreign language. Yeah. We laughed at the words. And um, that was it. He gave up. Wow. But we're lucky that we we had strong tupuna mm. that kept that language in, in, behind doors, yeah. maybe. How was it being Māori in school? It was sort of like brown girl in the ring. Yeah, unfortunately, back in 1970, they brought out these TV programmes. That's when the slang, like the N-word, come out, the black sambo words come out. Oh. So I was called those words. I'd just go home crying, because we didn't have that in Auckland. So this is a picture of... Your Auckland yeah. school. Half of us are uh, brown skinned. And then this is the class when you moved to Nelson. Yes. It was such a culture shock. It yeah. really was. Do people treat you and Papa differently or Papa differently? Yeah, definitely. When we went to get our first rental, mm. they would t take a look at him and say, oh, sorry, it's taken. And in the end, I would ring up and say, my, my husband is Māori, have you got a problem with that? And they'd say, yes. I'll tell you one thing that broke my heart about you when you were little, was that you came out with your, your face in powder. I know. I said, Ma, what are you doing? She said, you're going to say, I just want to be white like all my friends. And it, yeah. that broke my heart, just about. Do you genuinely feel proud to be Māori? Absolutely. Yeah? And equally proud of being Pākehā. Oh, you Right. We got the best of both worlds, I yeah. feel I'm extremely proud. If I aki nei, coming up, our journey continues as Mum and I delve into our fucker papa with the help of our Fano expert Mira. That is so cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>